Good morning, all. It's the Devious Monkey here. It's Sunday morning. Oh, I think she's going to give me the finger. <laughs> I don't, there it is. <laughs> don't know if you could see that or not, but eh, I figured I'd spare you the barking dog. Anyways, good morning, all. It's the Devious Monkey here, and it's another glorious bagel Sunday. It's not as bad out as it has been the past couple of days. I kind of felt Friday was worse because it was, it was sort of rainy and shitty and cold. And then it got really cold overnight. Yesterday, I just didn't think it was that bad. It was in the 30s. So, I mean, I could deal with it. Okay, it's 41 degrees now. Don't have anything planned today because I didn't know what it was going to be like. I know that, of course, it's Sunday, so I'll do day job stuff. I'm still contemplating on what I should be doing, though, because my schedule and, and things that have happened have got me going in 50 different directions at once. So I'm going to have to try to figure out what I need to do first. All right, let's get bagels. Bagels gotten. Let's go snarf. Hey kids, long time no see, but a blip on the screen for you, but for me, it's been a while. It is uh, almost 6 p.m. on Tuesday. Is it Tuesday? What fucking day is it? It's just about 6 p.m. on Wednesday. I have been sitting inside all day. I never went outside. I never went anywhere, didn't go pick anything up, didn't go to Target, didn't go to Trader Joe's. I've been sitting inside all day doing two things. One, I've either been on the phone, still dealing with my jacked Amex card, or I've been sitting here making presentations. The Amex thing is really annoying the shit out of me because I went to check it again yesterday. And whilst I was talking to my buddy and then going to the site, I saw that there was yet another fraudulent charge. And I thought to myself, how is that possible? They canceled the card. I literally don't even have the new card yet and there's already another charge on it. And he was like, when did it happen? And then I looked at the date and I'm like, shit, it happened today. So I got off the phone with him and I called Amex immediately. And they went through and they found that new charge, which was for 431 something. And then there was the other like 160 something charge that for some reason they didn't take off. So he's like, okay, let me put those two through. They went through and they did that. And he's like, you have to go and make sure that your card isn't on file with any of these hotels, any of these chains. So I went into the shitty Amex travel site that we have to use and went through my preferences and saw that the old card was still there. That's on me. So I deleted it. And then today I decided, you know what? I better go to each individual place. So I have reward programs for every major hotel chain because I stay at all of them. It, it varies. And then when I tried to get to the Hilton site, which was the culprit, because it's this Hilton in St. Louis that keeps getting the charge, I couldn't get into the account. Then I just said, fuck it. I'll just, you know, redo the password. And I had it send me an email with the reset. Didn't get it. Thought, OK, maybe it's not that email. Sent it to another email. Didn't get it. And then it hit me. Somebody went in probably through that Hilton account, jacked my account, and then changed everything so that they got all the information and they changed the password. Okay, enough of this story. In the end, I gave her my phone number, my email address. That account is suspended. The card, I mean, it doesn't matter what's on there because the account's suspended. And someone from the fraud department within a week or so will reach out to me and, you know, do whatever they got to do. And they're like, we'll make sure you get your money back and all that crap. And I'm, I don't give a shit. Amex already wrote it off. It's, it's just been a nightmare. So I wasted about two hours at best two hours today dealing with that again after going through it all yesterday. So not too happy because I pissed away two hours doing something that I shouldn't have had to have done when I could have been doing something else, like all the presentations that I had to do. But anyways, so that's it for now. We'll pick this back up tomorrow and tomorrow's going to be a nice, easy day and I'm going to go outside. So goodbye for now. OK, kids, a little bit different of a morning. A uh, friend of mine from work on the team that I used to work with is in town and I'm going to go to three ships and meet him for coffee. Yay. OK, that was a fun little meeting, little meet up anyways, not a meeting. I'm stuck in work mode because I was meeting with a work friend. So yeah, it was nice to nice to catch up, albeit a very quick catch up. I've been sitting here ranting. I completely forgot to go to the restaurant and get breakfast, but that's OK because I'm about ready to wet my pants. So I'm, I'm home. I might as well just go home. So all right, that's enough. My battery's dead. I, you know, I've drained a battery. Look at that. This A74 is a battery sucker. Disappointing. 
Okay, so I got two packages today. I was only expecting one. The reason I'm filming this is because I got that second package and I was like, what the hell is this? It was in a bubble wrap bag and I opened it up. It's this box. This is my new Verizon credit card. I've never seen anything like this where they sent it in this presentation box. So I thought I'd open it on cam. To open it up. Ooh, ah, pop this some bitch out to activate your card, blah, blah, blah. This thing is substantial. How the hell does this even work? Oh, so you, you literally slide it open. And yet another little envelope. Jesus, this thing feels like it's freaking aluminum. But yeah, so I got, I got my new Verizon credit card. Why did I get this card, you ask? Like I need another credit card? I got this card because I'm only going to use it to pay my Verizon bills. Now, you know how I said I don't like having shit auto build and all that kind of stuff? Now I can take advantage of no paper uh, statement and with the automatically, uh, whatever, the auto pay on my bill, it now brings it down significantly. Like I think almost 50 bucks if I had this set up for it. And I thought, well, okay, I'll just set this up for it and then I can just pay it like I would have my bill and not worry about it taking it right from my account. So I can just have it go to this card and then pay the bill whenever I wanna pay the bill. It was a no brainer. Very nice Verizon, nice presentation. Totally unexpected. I'm all for it. So just thought I'd show that to y'all. Okay. I wish I could have had that on film as she's making <laughs> weird ass noises to test the microphone out because now we have the microphone up here again so that you can hear her making weird ass noises. Yeah. <laughs> Anywho. So yeah, we're, we're now all <laughs> discombobulated from freak noises and shit. Um, we're now on our way to go meet the accountant. We're going to do that. And then I don't know what else we're going to do. Don't know what she wants to do. Sleep. Yeah. She, what she really means to say is she wants to go to 14 different grocery stores and get shit. And... We can go to Wegmans, though, since I have to replenish a couple of those rice puddings that I ate. Yeah. We can get ourselves a Super Bowl charcuterie board for the Super Bowl tomorrow. We can sit upstairs and watch it on the 65-incher. <laughs> Full 4K, man. I don't think I've ever watched the Super Bowl ever in my life. It's, it's been several decades for me. Yeah. I mean, I've watched the, the commercials. I, haven't, I don't even watch those. I don't even give a shit about those. Usually I watch them on like YouTube the next day or something these days. Yeah, I mean, they're going to be all over the internet right. anyways, so I don't feel the need to torture myself watching football and... Puppy Bowl now. Uh, Some, when they have yeah. the Puppy Bowl, I'll watch that. And then they, I don't care about the halftime show and any controversies that arise from that, mm -hmm. any faux controversies. So, it's yeah. something. If you hadn't figured it out, I don't give a rat's ass about the Super Bowl or any other sporting event. Never been my thing. Huh. Okay, so yeah, it's now up to 49 degrees. I don't know if it's the same as it was earlier, but it's still relatively bright and sunny and shout. I probably should put my sunglasses on, but we shall see. Yes, those are one pair of the Clocks and Colors sunglasses that I bought that are very well made. But the problem that I have with them is that they have absolutely no curve to them whatsoever, so I get a lot of reflection. And uh, she usually swipes a lot of my sunglasses anyway, so I was like, just go ahead and wear whatever you want. I've got those two pairs of, of our sunglasses. gargoyles. I've got those. And now the original pair that I wanted to get from Clocks and Colors reappeared and are also on sale. And much to both my horror and my excitement hmm. because i'm considered a silver member because i spent so much money there uh i ended up getting even bigger of a discount than just the sale so it made it like an absolute no-brainer to buy that other pair that i originally wanted so those should be here sometime next week and uh yeah lots of sunglasses no different than anything else in my life i have a lot of everything because i'm excessive but now that I have contacts, I can wear them all for a change. So I mostly collect boots. And purses. Bags. And my sunglasses. All right, that's enough. I'll, I'll let her uh, get back to interneting because she won't like surf on the phone when I'm recording. So until something interesting happens, we'll be right back. Um, so yeah, that was pretty easy. For some reason, every time we come out here every year to meet her, the weather's shit. 
Like, it's not raining and anything, but the wind is so, like, we're just standing out there, like, trying to shield ourselves from this blistering wind, and it's not warm. So we didn't stay and chat. We literally handed her the paperwork and, and buy, let me know when it's done, kind of a thing. Uh, I don't know what we're going to do. We're probably going to go thrifting. Yay. <clears throat> My favorite thing. That and antiquing. But we're not very familiar with this area, so it's not like we're going to... So we get to explore. ...do anything here. I guess. Yeah. So, yeah, all right then, let's go explore. Okay. So, we've been to like 40 Goodwills. Like three, four, four, five, D. So, yeah, we've been to a lot of Goodwills. Empty handed. Went to the bookstore. Empty handed. So, now we're going to fill our hands with coffee. Because we're going to go to three ships now. It's only 127. So the day is young and it's still decent out. So got that going for us, but let's go get bean. Bean has been imbibed as well as cookies. Huh. Yeah, we needed the, the afternoon fuel after walking around so much. <clears throat> and she's done. So I'm gonna tuck and roll her grandma. No, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'll have to figure that out. I know for one thing that I'm taking off this damn sweatshirt because I'm hot as balls everywhere we've gone has just been so overheated that I can't stand it. All right, kids, it feels like it's eight o'clock at night. I guess we just had a pretty packed day. I'm out right now because I need to get Flonase. I mean, it, we drove around today and she's like, oh my God, there's already blooming on these trees. Well, I could tell because yesterday I started sneezing and today my sinuses are getting really itchy and I'm, you know, I got that, uh, start that post nasal drip bullshit and I don't want to deal with that. So my concoction, as I've said before, I don't know if I cut it out or not. Basically what I do is I take Flonase, I take Sudafed 12 hour. That's all I need. Allergies are horrible. Well, that was kind of painful. I don't remember it being that expensive, but then again, everything is expensive these days. That bottle of Flonase was $26. Like, are you fucking kidding me? And I guess that would be where I'm supposed to say, price to pay to be able to breathe and not froth at the nose, but geez. <sighs> okay, 542, I'm heading home. I'm gonna try to cut together a video from this week, and then it's Svengoolie time. So I guess what I should do then is just end this right now so I don't have to set all that shit up at home. Okay, it's been another unusual week of sitting at home for hours on end doing day job stuff, getting kind of tired of having to do that all the time, and of having to deal with some butt fucking thief that swiped my credit card number and having to deal with that. Yay. It's been, yeah, not the funnest week. Forward and up though, so that's all you get for this week. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. And remember kids, forward and up.